Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking our beautiful neighbor, the moon. We're going to be discussing its history, and specifically a period of the moon's history, when it very likely looked completely different from how it looks now, and also may have even had atmosphere and potentially liquid water. Anyway, let's talk a little bit more about this, and welcome to What The Math. So, as you can probably imagine, Moon didn't always look this way. As a matter of fact, uh, because of the craters on the surface, we know that there were quite a lot of collisions, and those collisions probably generated a lot of very interesting explosions and other features on the Moon. But it's really these darker features that we're interested in, because they demonstrate to us that there were quite a lot of lava flows on the surface of the Moon. In other words, uh, billions of years ago, specifically about 3.5 billion years ago, uh, which was about a billion years after the Moon and the Earth were created, the surface of the Moon was actually very likely something similar to this. It was basically covered in lava. As a matter of fact, um, the amount of lava on the surface was quite dramatic and it basically created a very different um, sort of view you would have during both the day and the night, because you had practically two suns. You had the sun, which was very bright, and then you had the moon, which was also relatively bright. So there was quite a lot of unusual features that were um, basically visible on the moon that are not visible today. Now, these uh, lava flows didn't just create the heat and the light. They also actually created a relatively th um, thin for the moon, but relatively thick for other objects, atmosphere. In other words, about 3.5 uh, billion years ago, moon had an atmosphere that was about 1.5 times thicker than the atmosphere on Mars. Now, that's still about 100 times less than on Earth. But today we think that it actually had a relatively um, significant atmosphere that would most likely um, influence a lot of things on the surface. And this atmosphere was basically the result of various outgassings from all of this lava on the surface. In other words, uh, things like CO2 and even the water were escaping from this lava and were kind of distributed across the surface. But obviously, because the moon is very small and not that massive compared to Earth, it's, as a matter of fact, about 1 80th of mass of Earth, all of this atmosphere escaped pretty quickly. And uh, within only about a few million years, it basically lost most of this. Now, this doesn't change the fact that there may have been actually a period here when we could even see things like water. Okay, that was very, very brief, but there was maybe water. Let's try it again. Uh, possibly liquid water and possibly um, just water ice. Most likely water ice. It evaporated pretty quickly, though. As you can see, it's evaporating right now already. Uh, but uh, there's a very high chance that during that period of time, 3.5 billion years ago, Moon basically kind of looks like this. It literally looked nothing like it does today. It had a lot of lava, it had a lot of ice on it, it probably was very, very bright in the sky. And don't forget that it was also much, much closer to us. So we're going to actually place it a lot closer to planet Earth, and so you would basically see a very bright, very, very unusually looking object orbiting around planet Earth that looked nothing like the modern moon. And another interesting aspect about the moon's surface is that it also had a few um, relatively recent volcanic eruptions as um, recent as about 100 million years ago. In other words, um, very relatively recent in geological terms. Now, these eruptions uh, are not as dramatic as this, but they were definitely there, indicating that moon's um, internal structure is still relatively active. There's probably some kind of a liquid... Uh, molten core here, there's also some sort of a metal core, and a lot of uh, rocky formations, most of which we know about based on the uh, size and, of course, the density of the moon. This is the second most dense moon in our solar system, after the infamous 
Io, which is the uh, closest big moon, larger moon, uh, to uh, Jupiter. This is Io in comparison to the uh, to our moon. They're relatively similar in size, but Io is a little bit more massive and a little bit larger in size. Now, so there were volcanoes here, and we also expect more volcanoes and volcanic eruptions in the future as well. Just not anytime soon. Definitely not in the next thousand years and possibly not even in the next million years, but eventually. All right, so we know um, the facts about the potential atmosphere and also the volcanoes and the moon, but if we go back in time a little bit more, we might discover something else really interesting. And that something else is definitely speculation, but a lot of scientists today do think that uh, basically only a few million years after the creation of the moon, uh, this is kind of what it probably looked like. It was all molten, it was all covered in, in lava, but it was also very similar in composition to Earth, earlier Earth. Now, what we know about Earth is that uh, deep inside we have a lot of uh, various materials, and some of those materials are responsible for producing what you see right here on the Moon, liquid water. Now, this suggests to us that early Moon may have actually uh, had very similar sort of parameters to modern Earth at least for a little bit. In other words, it may have had relatively thick atmosphere, uh, possibly even liquid water on the surface, and was somewhat habitable, not super habitable, because it obviously doesn't have enough gravity to hold on to the atmosphere and to produce enough liquid water. And all of this also kind of disappeared pretty quickly. Within a few million years, it probably lost mo most of this atmosphere. It probably also lost um, all of the liquid water, and we're just going to try to include some more water just to see, just so you can actually see it on the surface. Okay, so here we go. So here's some more water and maybe we need to increase the temperature a little bit as well, just to make it somewhat liquid. It's not working though, because the atmosphere is not sticking to, to the moon and neither does liquid water. But that's actually what probably happened. It, it just basically evaporated completely from the surface of the moon and both water and um, various uh, molecules in the atmosphere escaped. And some of them may have ended up on Earth. Some of them may have ended up somewhere else. And basically most of them eventually just completely um, flew away. And that's because moon's gravity is just not strong enough to hold on to all of these molecules. This doesn't change the fact, though, that there is a very, very, very tiny chance that at some point in history, Moon was actually habitable and was very, very similar to what Earth is like today. Now, because this period didn't last very long, it's probable that uh, life didn't form on the Moon and also there may have not been enough time to form any life. But nevertheless, seeing such an unusually beautiful object in the skies and basically seeing uh, essentially a second sun-like object with atmosphere and possibly even with liquid water was definitely something that uh, would have been a marvelous, marvelous sight. And maybe one day we'll get to see it again if something collides with the moon and turns it very similar to how it is now. Although that's probably also going to endanger our lives as well. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about, and this is all based on relatively recent research from several um, universities, and specifically the one uh, that I talked about was a paper you can find online uh, by Deborah Needham and David King called Lunar Volcanism Produced a Transient Atmosphere Around Ancient Moon. Pretty cool hypothesis and a pretty cool idea in general, and something that we definitely need to investigate more. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and hopefully you learned something from this video, and now you know a little bit more about our own moon. See you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye. And imagine seeing this one day, if actually something does happen to our moon. It will be both terrifying and, I guess, spectacular. Probably the biggest fireworks in the skies we'll ever see.